Hello everybody and welcome to your July 10th update from the 2019 World Series of Poker sponsored by Global Poker. I'm Sarah Herring and it's day five of the main event. 8,569 players are now just 307 according to the clock. As I mentioned yesterday, the payout jumps are very slight for the most part until you reach about 72 players where we jump finally into those six figure paydays. The players left now are guaranteed about 30 grand each and for some that payday might matter more than others. One face that probably doesn't need the money, but, but that the entire poker world is rooting for is that of Richard Seymour. The former New England Patriots defensive lineman and three-time Super Bowl champion is coming back with 2.75 million. With 1.75 million being the average stack in play at the moment, we've got good chances. 888 Poker Qualifier Dean Maroney has the chip lead and the Canadian has an incredible story after qualifying for only $100. Antonio Esfandiari was on the live stream yesterday and had everyone sweating, not just in the main event, but because of all the massive amounts of side action that he has going on in prop bets. Always entertaining. Dario Martino has had a stellar summer and is returning today with 2.3 million in chips, also a formidable opponent. Some other names with stacks to keep your eyes on are Andrew Brokos, Sasha Liu, aka Poker Sasha, Craig McCorkle, and Joseph Chong. One thing is for certain, there will be a new world champion of poker crowned when all is said and done. Yesterday, the three former world champions left, Chris Moneymaker, Kui Win and Johnny Chan were all eliminated, paving the way for a new player to claim poker's most coveted prize. Starting at 4 p.m. local time, Poker Go will be streaming the final 50 high roller. The final 50 high roller for those in the know, which is returning with seven players. Leading the final seven players is Brandon Adams. Adams is looking to build on the momentum of collecting his first WSOP bracelet in event number 74, which was a $3,200 WSOP.com online no limit hold'em high roller for more than $400,000 less than a week ago. If Adams can capture the final 50 bracelet, he will move into the top 10 in the WSOP Player of the Year race while simultaneously joining an elite elusive list of players to capture multiple WSOP bracelets in one World Series, just like Robert Campbell did just over a week ago. The only player, in fact, that has currently done so in 2019. As is to be expected, the final seven reads like a who's who of high roller talent, including Michael Adamo, Oliam Sirovich, Adrian Mateos, Danny Tang, Sam Sovereil, and Keith Tilston. Have a look at the chip counts coming into play. Sean Deeb leads the way in the little one for one drop, but with 412 players left, he will certainly have his work cut out for him. With unlimited re-entries open until the second level of day two, the prize pool is massive and the top prize is almost $700,000. There are plenty of notables still left in the field, including Ryan D'Angelo, Ben Moon, and Dara O'Kearney. The $1,500 PLO Bounty is starting its day two today as well. Last year was the first year of the WSOP, and last year, in fact, saw not quite as many players as we saw registered this year. So we are anticipating that coveted PLO boom is on the way. Play will reach the money relatively early today, and of course, we will keep you posted as we get closer to crowning a champion in this and, of course, all other events. The 3K No Limit Hold'em event is also returning for a day two today. There are 148 survivors out of the 671 players that started the tournament. Diogo Vaiga, who won this event last year, is still in the field, as well as Athanasios Polychronopoulos, Michael Tereniak, Justin Bonomo, Marc-Andre Latissure, and Patrick Leonard. There's 380k left up top and a lot of play, with some of poker's best is still to be had in this event. Today, it is the first ever bracelet winners only tournament. Across 50 years of the World Series of Poker, more than 1,000 players have captured a bracelet and all of those previous winners now have a chance to meet in a very unique event dedicated to and in appreciation of all of their achievements at the series. This rake-free tournament is restricted to past champions, promising a truly spectacular lineup of World Series legends at the tables. And of course, we will have our eyes on the one and only Chad Holloway. May the bird shirt be with you, my friend.
Thank you for coming to Poker News, your number one source for poker news in the world. Stay tuned as later today we will have a highlights video of all of the last week where we cover anything that you might have missed, including the disqualifications, the earthquake, the biggest champions, the weirdest dramas, and more. Keep refreshing us here on PokerNews.com for all of the latest, and thank you so much to our sponsors, Global Poker.